And now our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, the And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, the People's Champ, Tito Ortiz. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, so early on in this one, let's see how the Huntington Beach bad boy, Tito Ortiz, chooses to approach this challenge. You know the takedown figures to be there and the ground and pound figures to follow suit, but how soon can Ortiz get this fight down tonight? All right, so there it is. Just as he said in the final meeting, he's going to pursue the clinch at all costs. He doesn't care about the crowd booing. This is how you defeat a kickboxer, and the wrestler's going to try to tire him out here. Well, yeah, give him no space. Give him no distance to operate with. Smother him. That's exactly what this wrestler's trying to do. Investing in the body with the kick there. Leg kick. Another nice leg kick there by Machida. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Lunges forward with a left there. That's some power there. Effective punch there by Machida. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down. And nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he will take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up, so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight this fight. Just missed with the left there. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ortiz. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And that one certainly found the target. Good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Well, that overhand big weapon form. Another one. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Machida's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Try to establish that jab. He's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Machip. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Oh, he might be in trouble here. 
Oh! He did a great job of reversing the position using the opening that his opponent gave him to shut him off and get back up. Push kick there to the body. Under a minute to go. His opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Just misses with the jab there. Oh, thunderous leg kick bounces out. Looked a little bit, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, beautiful. Stop, stop. Round two straight ahead. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. Tito gets caught by the inside leg kick. Oh, good job to get the hand up to block the elbow. Oh, nice straight jab there by Ortiz. Ortiz gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Side of it really starting to bruise here. You wonder how much weight he can put on that leg moving forward. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Machida gets hit by that kick to the body. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cow attack. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot, you don't know whether lunge, high, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, my goodness! He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Just out of range with that right hand. Whoa! Oh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Come on, let's go. Wow, let's go. what a fight! Tito goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stuck. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, oh he hurt him again. 
Takedown defense is there. Ortiz get the takedown. A nice transition there. And showing off the fight IQ. He was getting touched up on the feet. Takes the fight to the ground. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack him. as he looks to improve position here. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Ortiz is in half guard. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, <laughs> you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. 30 seconds to go in the round. Well, his mobility hasn't necessarily been compromised, but his offense has been muted by those thigh kicks that continue to do damage. Yeah, these leg kicks are, are beautiful. They, they spoke about their game. They openly told us this guy does not check kicks. It has proven true, and right now he's getting very close to winning this fight. Oh! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Outstanding round. Oh. Well. Another five minutes coming up. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Pretty good straight punch there by Tito. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, clearly his leg is hurt, and now you see him starting to limp a little bit, Shane. Yeah, he's starting to limp from the leg damage. He's been beat up, but his opponent told us, he goes, this guy does not check kicks very well. He does not do a good job of recognizing those types of attacks. He's taking full advantage of them. I mean, this looks like it's about to be over. He has taken way too many of these leg kicks. Just misses with that one. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to take down the shot. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Oh, man, that bruising on the calf is a sight to behold. Seems like the referee may be even closing the distance a little bit now. Well, the work has been done. His opponent came in here with a game plan to use that as his primary weapon. He's been successful. What a game plan put together by this team. Under three minutes to decide this one. 
Wow, he told you we'd keep an eye on it. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered to nothing. There are no more questions. So bad. Oh, oh! Might get the TKO here. Back to his feet. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really out of it now. Oh! A little judo throw there to take him down. High praise, I would think, from the Olympian DC. Nicely done. I mean, it was beautiful. The way that he stepped across, got his hips in and started driving into his opponent. What a phenomenal technique. Great position. Great knowledge of knowing how to manipulate someone's body. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. One minute to decide this one. Machida's eye does not look real good right now. It actually is starting to swell shut, so that will be something that bears watching as this fight continues. Holy smokes! What a fight! Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 11 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Leo Toa Machida. All right, so congratulations go out to the former UFC champ, Leoto, the Dragon Machida. And you see he's starting to enjoy this moment with his corner men, rightfully so. This was a vintage effort out of Machida tonight, and he could conceivably work his way back to a title fight if he can keep performing like this.